the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds To the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how I know I was born to sing Travel the world Please baby girls Bury my best friend I'm manifesting but not concerned Cause whatever happens I'm good Welcome to this week's vlog. I am so excited. There's so much to catch you up on. I'm in Washington right now, for example, instead of Colorado, because I don't have a rotation. Oh my God, Maroon. I swear, every time I start talking, she starts doing something crazy. Can you not? Okay, anyway, we have so much to do today. I'm really behind on April content calendar for Instagram, like it's like a Maggie. And I hired somebody to make this pre-med digital planner for me and I'm really excited, but over the last two days, I've spent hours upon hours upon hours giving feedback for like the first design. And like, I kind of thought that hiring somebody would mean that I would work less on it, but it feels like I'm working more on it, <laughs> but it's fine. So I have a really quick thing to do for that. Just like one last piece of feedback, which will be quick. Then we'll work on April content calendar. I just filled out my schedule for the week and oh my God, there's just so much else to do. And next week, I tragically start step two studying and I've really, really, really been enjoying this like total break from school or studying and everything. And I just like played around with the calendar and like what I should study and it's just sad, but it's okay. It's one season, it's fine. Three things, I always do three things for the week, which like is usually my Sunday reset, but Monday mornings count too. So what I have planned for this week and we're gonna work on throughout the vlog is creating a step two study schedule, finish this week in the life vlog, and then creating two lessons for my new course, pre-med roadmap. We have two live sessions, Wednesday, Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday morning, I'll create lessons for that. <sighs> and also finish April content calendar, but that is today's main thing. So gotta get caught up. There's like a lot of things that I've been not doing, but it's okay, we're gonna get them done today. <laughs> Don't you want to go further away from the fray? Let's not okay, get stuck it's in the time. Hurry. Wake up to get her pills. Won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom? Breathe in the air. Look up to the is when I do all the things. Feed the cat. <laughs> Her little area above the fridge cracks me up. Um, feed the dog. Oakley pills. Epilepsy pills. We're about to go on a walk. I give the apartment a little tidy and then back to work. Go! Oakley's gonna get booties because she has a cut on her paw. Come here! And I don't want it getting wet and dirty. George wanted to take these back, but I think she needs the protection. Is there a left and a right? Feels like a heavy burden, but I can't relate. Do our actions even matter? Oh, what is that? Or is this a fake? Oh. At least now I'm feeling better. My nose is really running because 
it's cold outside but another thing i need to update you on is projects so i'll first context this is george's apartment because he's the business that he started last fall it's like right there super close he could like walk if he needed to so we're here he had his apartment last fall but like obviously didn't plan for us to like all move here and live in it so it had the bare minimum not decorated like nothing just like enough stuff to be able to like make food and sit and watch tv so when i got here i was like no no we're gonna make this really really nice so here is the before of what the apartment looked like Okay, we're gonna tidy and then I'll show you the after. <laughs> Just kidding, we don't need to tidy. It's good enough. Let's do it. A little apartment tour. This will be quick because it's very small. Okay, here's the living room. This is my, like, the best project that I did was getting these three Amazon cabinets and then I spray painted these brass. We mounted the TV. We hid the cords on that white thing. Like, it looks amazing. Pictures, wedding pictures. Um, this is the little jungle gym for Maroon. And then found this very cute rug. And now here's the kitchen, my tripod in the way. Same rug, little runner. There's not really much with the kitchen, but there it is. There's the little thing I got yesterday. Here's the bedroom, which you saw a bit of. This cute little night, uh, nightlight things, better bedding. That's a mess because I'm currently working there. And then there's really not much to see in the bathroom. That's the bathroom. <laughs> and this really cute mirror. So much better, huh? And that is also, Home Goods has such good finds. And Marshalls, I have not looked at Marshalls in like a million years, but look at the cutest purse in the whole wide world that I got from there. I didn't realize how dangerous it was to go to Marshalls. <laughs> so I'm obs actually obsessed with this purse though. Okay, now I'm gonna clean because I actually do vacuum this place every single morning, just because it's so small and there's hardwood floors. So if you don't vacuum every morning, there's hair everywhere. And I cannot, I cannot, it has to be cleaned at all times. <laughs> Literally, look at this vacuum last night. There's like two big chunks there. Crazy! Makes me realize that we need to vacuum our house in Colorado more often. You just can't see it because it's big and it's carpet. <laughs> things in my morning routine brushing maroon which actually i just got this brush yesterday i didn't bring her brush from colorado i don't know i didn't think it was that significant that i brushed her every day but obviously i have noticed the last like two weeks that we've been here not brushing her she just like jumps and hair falls off more hair <laughs> that's insane at eight i mix myself chug the rest of my salt water from element um because otherwise i'll never finish it Place is clean. I've drank my salt water, electrolyte water for the day. And now I need to finish April content calendar. Uh, uh, uh. I actually, all I have done so far, cause it took me longer than I planned to do the digital planner feedback. Cause she asked me like a million questions and it was overwhelming. And I finally got that feedback to her. So I really only had 30 minutes before eight where I had to do all the things. And I just uploaded a clip for an Instagram reel. So I have actually, like finish the whole month would be really nice before the gym, not gonna happen, but I need to make more progress than one reel. Down to do more work after getting back from the gym 
to make more progress on the April content calendar and I think I made like zero progress. Like I have so many ideas, I just feel like I'm sharing the same stuff over and over again and like we need to go on a walk so we're just gonna do that and maybe change the- I'll sit on the couch, I'll stop overthinking things, just put stuff in the Google calendar for the content and I'll just blah, I have other things to do so it needs to just be done at this point but first a break. Ugly! Do you want to go for field time? It's field time! <laughs> She's being very impatient. She knows it's time. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm her best one. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Tuesday and <laughs> this digital planner project is not going well like like I said I spent hours upon hours upon hours giving her all that feedback and it's good but there's so many like I am a perfectionist I'm probably the hardest person to work for ever in the whole wide world because I am such a perfectionist like there's typos there's just like it's not uniform like there's gray lines that are over black lines and they should be under the black lines like so many tiny things i literally messaged her and i was like can i please can we pause this timeline and can i make the changes myself so this looks absolutely perfect like if she the, like i don't i think the next step is to like link all these pages and if she does that she has to create like thousands of the planner pages like there's thousands of pages in a digital planner and i will not sell it i will scrap this all together and the money will just go in the trash what i paid for her to do this so i really hope she lets me edit this myself and make it absolutely perfect because i won't i will not sell something that i am not proud of <laughs> this always happens to me this literally happened to me last year about the branding that i hated why am i so difficult i like is it me am i the problem <laughs> Like, I know that I can make a perfect planner. Like, we have a really good foundation. Just let me take the reins, baby. I got this. Stay away from my planner. <laughs> and then at least if I can edit it, the linking of a digital planner is the hardest part. Let me show you what I mean. Do you know what a digital planner is? I guess it's gonna be hard to show on this little um, phone screen, but a digital planner is where like, think of a physical planner that you would like write with a pencil and paper, but it's on your iPad. I don't know how many of you know this. Am I like an idiot for thinking you know? But the good digital planners this is sophia lee's the good digital planners because there's a lot of bad digital planners that you could buy on etsy but the good ones are linked like really really well like every single page you can go to with like a click so like right here this is a october 16th if we're on that day we can easily click and go back to week bam and that's your weekly overview page and then you can click and go to your goals for october bam right to that page you can go to your vision board for october bam right to that page yeah that's what a digital planner is but and sophia lee is beautiful and amazing and wonderful of course because she's sophia lee and everything she makes is amazing and i want everything i make to be amazing and <sighs> i need to get to work and make lessons for pre-med roadmap and hopefully she just lets me design the thing myself i mean not design it like you know the, the foundation's there but i cannot it is not it's not good enough for me I have high standards, people. All right, I am very tired mentally from all the work I've been doing and physically from the CrossFit gym today, but nothing makes me happier than having a riding lesson. So that's where we're headed now. I'm so, so, so excited. I went last Friday for the first time at this new barn that I've never been to before here in Washington and they loved me they were like oh my gosh you're such a good rider and you ride that horse so well we want to see you on all these horses and you're small enough to ride this pony who needs to work with 
and we don't have advanced enough riders for this pony and the trainer was like you can come anytime and help me like exercise the lesson horses like it was the best the barn the facilities is not bougie that's for sure but they have really like high quality arena footing which is like a nerdy thing to say but that's like really important and they have really nice horses like the horses are quality horses so it looks it doesn't give a good first impression like the barn and the house and stuff but the trainer actually rode more competitively in college than i did i did this thing called ihsa in college for my equestrian team and um she was on an ncaa team which and she got recruited there and got a full ride scholarship to ride there, which was literally my dream. And she was also an open rider, which is like the most advanced level. So we both did open. We have very similar backgrounds, but yeah, she's like super legit. And it's just funny because like it doesn't look, it's no Providence Hill farm, <laughs> that's for sure. But I, I feel like I found the perfect place because the place that is bougie and it's only seven minutes away, they like, we only take people who want to start doing shows. So they're like bougie like that and like, no thanks. <laughs> Let's go. satisfying hour of my morning so got that done eating breakfast finishing my element i still have to i'll brush my room that's the only thing i haven't done yet but whew. okay so daily highlight is done i finished the powerpoint slides for our pre-med roadmap session tonight by 6 30 this morning and then till 8 i was working on the digital planner and i'm figuring out the platform the complicated platform and stuff so i think it's gonna be fine it's just gonna take a long time but it's okay i'm just gonna eat my breakfast and then keep chugging away at it till we go to the gym at noon and at some point I open up Amazon boxes so I can do something besides work. I'm just gonna keep in mind how satisfying Sunday is gonna feel when I have like the most perfect, beautiful digital planner of my dreams. It's gonna take a lot of work to get there, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're back from the gym, I showered, and I just want to show you this page that I was able to get done for the digital planner. Granted, there's 29 total. I did finish the cover pages, that's two. We got this yearly overview page done, that's three. So only 26 more pages to go. But I'm figuring out the platform, so that's helpful too. Also, side note, and we're about to go walk Oakley. So George is waiting for me, but side note, I, my quote was featured in a Forbes blog post. How cool is that? And they link back to my blog, It's Life by Maggie Duggoff. <laughs> So cool. I'm gonna show you the full cover of the pre-med planner and then I'll show you a little sneak peek of the page that I have finalized. I don't wanna, can't share all the details yet. It's coming out this summer. <laughs> Get ready, ta-da! 
it's so pretty. Okay, so this is gonna be the cover of the digital planner. So pretty. I just made like minor tweaks to it because it just wasn't perfect, you know? Okay, now let's, we're gonna show a little, we're gonna zoom in. This is a zoomed in view of the part of the page. So here's some tabs. Here's the yearly overview page. And then there is July and August. I made the, I just made some tweaks and how it looks. These used to be like the July, there was no box. And then the July was this color, July and August, like the months were this color. So I changed it to the box and this, and then I changed like the, the typography here and here, like a, a lot of tiny tweaks. And then I'll show you one more tweak that I made. I made these boxes like thinner, slightly more rounded here. And then I made this tan so it's not like all white. So there's your little sneak peek. I'm so excited. Okay, time to walk Oakley. Oh, she's already at the door. Are you ready? Go on a walk. Look at the sky, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, it's Thursday night and I didn't show you today because I spent 90% of my day working on the digital planner, but we are making progress, guys. And then luckily, I mean happily, we went to Top Golf with two friends that George works with. And that was just really nice because this digital planner thing is really stressful. And it's like, I literally like paid somebody to do this for me. So like, this was not supposed to be a project of mine, but I want it to be perfect. So I worked on it all day and then going to Top Golf just like helped me like be less stressed and enjoy the evening. And it's really fun and very much needed. We had our last pre-med roadmap session at 4 p.m. also. So we went to Top Golf right, right after. I gave them like an Anki tutorial. Anyway, that was my day. And now I'm heating up George's leftovers and he's getting me Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the night with some ben and, much deserved Ben and Jerry's after working on the digital planner and getting stressed about it. And then tomorrow we're gonna work on the digital planner all day, Saturday all day. Hopefully I can take Sunday off. That would be like, I can't do this three days in a row. Let's hope that in the next two days I can get this done. All right, it's time for my little power hour morning routine. I'm getting more efficient as I do these pages. So I'm working now on the daily page, but I finished the weekly review page and, okay, maybe actually that's it. <laughs> but I've been working only for two hours and it took me all day to do the weekly overview page yesterday. So it sounds insane, but it really is getting more efficient. And hopefully I'll finish the daily page by like 11, in which case that's two pages in a morning or half a day versus one page took me all day. So progress, progress, progress. I wanna share this view. I wanna share this view with you. We're never coming down, never coming down, never coming down again. We were born to be this high, born to be this high. Okay, I'm getting a little delusional with the amount of projects that I'm trying to do, but since I started writing again, I and I've been wanting to get a nicer sewing machine, I decided to pull the plug because I really want to make my own boot bag um, that also like carries your helmet. And I'll just like put a picture up of what I'm talking about because if you don't ride horses, you don't know what I mean. But it started when I wanted to make this like leather cover for my iPad and then I gave that up, but then I got this idea for the boot bag. And so anyway, here's me unboxing my new sewing machine and we'll see <laughs> if I'm able to create a boot bag. It will be quite interesting. <laughs> All right, it's Saturday. It is, um, the week has went by so fast. I'm smiling like this because I'm scared. I just did the step two study schedule. Um, that was one of my weekly goals is to just like finalize my study plan. So I'll show you in a second. What I got is studying five and a half days per week. My goal is 580 questions per week for seven weeks because my U world has 4,070 questions. So I want to get through the 4,000 questions in New World in seven weeks. Okay. One thing that I learned from Step is to take breaks. 
So I want to have like a little Wednesday afternoon like ritual where we do something fun, whether we like drive to a farther dog park and take Oakley out and enjoy the weather or I go shopping or I do like my sewing projects. Wednesday afternoons I have have white as like I want to do something fun on Wednesday afternoons. And then Sundays are totally white, like totally off because I really need to take breaks big time and not like work my or study myself to death like I did for step one. So here's here's what it looks like. It's a little overwhelming, but I think I have a decent plan. It's a lot of questions to get through and I did not want to extend it past seven weeks. So this is what I'm gonna try. Here she is. So the blue is obviously step two studying because it's the bulk of everything. I'm still definitely gonna go to the gym five days a week, maybe six if I feel like going on Sundays. And then the green is working for It's Life by Maggie. And then obviously white space is like whatever the heck makes me happy and whatever I want to do. But I want to like intentionally like plan something fun on Wednesdays to like actually get out of the house and do something like different than just like being in the house and whatever. So that's kind of it. So my plan is to do like basically I'll wake up 4.45, get started by 5.00. And then do 40 questions which will take me one hour and then the next two hours i'll just review those questions same thing one hour 40 question block to review for two hours and then to fit in the 580 questions because i wanted to just do this but to fit in enough questions per week and not extend my study time or like use the white space to do it because I don't want to do that. I decided I'm going to do 60 questions. These three, these are the three extra where I do 60 questions. And here, I think these will all be random subjects, but here I plan to do targeted based on like my weaknesses. So maybe this will like only be one topic and I'm hoping like it'll be faster to review that way if it's only one subject versus I'll need more time to review if it's multiple. It's starting to get shaky holding the phone like that. Um, but yeah, so the six, I don't know about the 60 questions and reviewing in three hours, but hopefully since it's like the targeted, it's on one topic, hopefully that'll make it quicker. I don't really know, but um, <sighs> that's a lot to do first in the next seven weeks, but hopefully with breaks, it won't be that bad. I still have plenty of time for fun things. Plenty of time to work on It's Life by Maggie and we'll see how it goes. Maybe next vlog will be my first week of stuff studying and we can see how this schedule actually pans out. <laughs> um, so anyway, haven't done a vlog in so long. So thanks for watching if you made it to the end and I don't know why I'm being awkward. Okay, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along on Instagram and can't wait to see you in the next vlog. Hopefully the next vlog looks exactly like my calendar. 